Okay. So the first question will be, we have a data set. The data set is in a CSV format or uh, whatever. Okay, whatever they can, we can available. Like a column product ID, product name, category, price, quantity. This is the same kind of interview question we are getting. And the questions will be calculate the total revenue generated by all the sales to calculate total revenue generated from all the sales amount. Second one will be the find the top five best selling product based on the quantity sold. And third will be calculate the average price of the product in each category. Fourth will be identify the category with the highest total revenue. So here you can see like I'm just writing product ID, product name, category, price, category, uh, uh, quantity sold. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is the one you can mention here. Then in, in the below, you can see here every time when you're creating a sparse session, you need to create a from spar.sql from import sparse session. This is you know, to creating a like a tunnel. Then uh, function. Definitely, we need to be uh, aggregate function. We need to perform here. That is the reason I'm just adding this also here. The next one will be the SpySpark SQL window import uh, import window function for Windows function. Then what we did like the first section Spark uh, uh, spark equal to, I think I will increase the size also. Spark equal to spark session dot builder app name sales get or create. Then schema. If you don't have a CSV file, you can use this one. Okay, direct data and the schema we can mention. But when you writing the schema, you need to be given like this like a header. Okay, header columns are there. So you can give like product ID, product name, category, price, quantity sold. This is in the quotes otherwise you will be get an error you can see here single double quotes you can mention the top so that is very important then in the data part also you can pass in like a list kind of item in the list kind of item you need to id one two three and the data inside this one maybe product name definitely it will be a string so you can give like in the single quotes double quotes you can mention this one so i'm just creating the data also but real time you can uh, read or CSV. You can use to read the CSV file, or you can mention the path where you need to mention. Then DS equal to Spark dot create data frame. Then you need to pass the data and the schema. Okay, data value taken from here, and schema will be taken from here also. Then DF dot show. If you run this one, you will get a complete list of whatever we passing, ID and product name, category, price, quantity sold. So df dot show we did that means we loaded into the data frame that is the first question then display second thing will be calculate the total revenue okay total revenue from here data frame itself you can understand like total revenue means we need to create a new column because the price already have plus the quantity also there price into quantity will be equal to revenue so definitely there is a one more column we need to add here for the revenue column. So it will be include the uh, column price into the column price of quantity sold. We can give the name as a revenue. Then you will get a revenue column contain the revenue of the one. Okay, that means 500 into 100. That means uh, 50,000. 50, 50, yes, 50,000. Then next one will be 50 into 200. So that will be give you like 10,000. So this value we need to be expecting a new column. So that is the reason I am adding here total revenue equal to df dot width column. Why width column we are using? Width column will help you to create a new column. Okay. In that column what we are expecting like revenue. Revenue means uh, column price. So price into quantity. So you can price into quantity. I am mentioning the revenue. Then width column equal to revenue comma then what are the things we are expecting in that particular revenue? So that means the column price. We already have the column price. You can see here column price into the column sold. When you doing this one, you will get what you will get. You will get a uh, data will contain column price of like this one and the column contain this one value you will get dot. But our question is sum of the calculate of the total revenue. So that is the reason dot aggregate of sum of the revenue so that column contain value that sum we are taken and collect the first value itself okay zero zero 
then print total revenue equal to this one okay this whatever the thing we are done so that that we will get so that is the first output you can see here it will be uh, is a new column if you add a new column it will be like a, the adding the total amount will be 12,000 uh, 1,20,250 okay I think you clear this idea so that is the first thing about the calculate the total revenue here we are using the sum and uh, sum function and with the column then next question next question will be the question number two top of top five best selling product how we can know this best selling is like that if you look on this portion you can see like price and quantity of the sold so from this one itself maybe it will be like uh, so means quantity of sold will a kind of a parameter it is a good product okay so that is the reason we can take like that top best to five selling product so top product equal to df dot order by clause based on the quantity sold because if a one product is sold more time if a product is selling more you can think like okay this product is good so that is the reason columns uh, column sold we are taken and order by descending descending means from higher selling to lower selling then dot limit that will give you the first five limit of item normally and now the example contain only five items yes five items so don't need to give this limit of five but our question contain top five best selling that is the reason i'm given like df dot order by column of the quantity underscore sold this is the one we are getting from one of the column we already have this is the column we already have based on that one we will be ordered by descending higher to lower then limit to five that will give you the exact idea so then df product equal to show for example if you learn this one you will get a this is the one if you can see here quantity sold 300 then 200 150 150 based on that one we can identify okay this is the highest selling with five items next one will be the average price of average price per category okay so we need to check back your category category when you kind if, if you get this kind of question you can think about if you don't know to write the windows function or don't worry at least you can deliver some input from your uh, to the interviewer also okay this is the logic i want to apply this is the function for example windows function i will apply you just deliver your logic and all maybe they will satisfy if you don't know to write the code okay so the category will be you can see here electronics clothing beauty so these are the three categories based on the three categories what they want average price so we need to categorize into what are the items under the electronics then how many how many total sum of the total under the electronics divided by how many of the items are there that will give you the average of the electronics item next one we are taking the clothing okay in the clothing whatever the records are there and total total sum divided by that count so that will give you the average of the clothing so this way we need to use definitely we need to use a kind of a sometime we need to use like a category wise uh, uh, windows function and all sometimes go to group by category okay based on the category i'm just giving a group by then aggregate of average of the price okay we need to price it will be automatically identify already based on the category that means electronics contain Two, three then divided by two it will be automatically this one okay then what happened like it will be like df dot show then you can see like six hundred and five hundred clothing sixty two beauty thirty so beauty there's no high no other item that is called it is thirty and clothing it's like that okay so that is the uh, point about the average of the price per category don't need to into don't need to go to into that kind of function okay the fourth one will be category with the highest total revenue category with the highest total revenue so when you get this question you need to be divided in your mind you need to think about how we can solve this one definitely 
we need to be categorized uh, for electronics, uh, clothing, and beauty. We need to categorize. Then sum of the item. We need to take each category. Then mass of the particular each of the item. Then you will get the highest total revenue. The category with the highest total revenue. So you can see here what I did like the up dot with the column revenue. This we already completed the price into sales quantity. Then grew by based on the category. Then sum of the revenue. Okay, sum of the revenue of total revenue. We will get the sum of the revenue of total revenue. Then what we can do like we just order by the category of the order by order by total revenue. Okay, then use the maximum or maximum value of this one. Or you can take the first of this one. So here, what we we did like category revenue order by the column total revenue dot descending first. Then print the category with the highest revenue max revenue category equal to category. Then you will get the complete idea about which is the max and that means electronic because from here also we know electronics contain huge amount of data. So that is the reason category with the highest revenue electronics. Hmm. Then. One more question I will tell you, like how we can implement in the, like in an SQL coding also. For the SQL coding, the same question, same PySpark question, we need to be moving to the SQL. First, you can create, you can see here, magic command. In the Databricks, we have a magic command called, uh, it will be taken, Databricks notebook will help any of the programming line, whatever they are listed, like Scala, Python, uh, these are everything. But you need to be mentioned percentage of that one. Otherwise, it will be moving into the default to Python language. So here itself, you can see like create table sales and a product ID integer, product name varchar, category varchar, and price decimal, quantity sold, this one. Then we insert into the sales table values, whatever the things we have just sharing. Okay. Then the question will be calculate the total revenue. That is very easy. Total revenue, when you are moving into total revenue, it is very easy like uh, select the sum of the price into quantity sold. Okay, sum of the price into quantity sold as total revenue from sales. This is the one you can see here. So it is will help you to total revenue contain that data. So I am just showing here the total revenue. We don't need to uh, take or we need to cat don't need to categorize that whatever the total price into sum of the price into quantity sold as total revenue. So that will get to the complete value. Next one will be uh, the question with the uh, top five best selling product. Okay, select a product ID. You can select, select product ID, product name, category, price, quantity sold, then rank here given. Okay, rank order by or you can rank order by different ways we can sell over order by the quantity sold descending okay quantity we are getting the rank in the particular rank we need to be quantity sold descending then ranking from sales order by ranking and the limit equal to 5 or you can uh, you can mention like select a chart from this one order by quantity sold or top 5 top 5 is the selling based on the limit equal to 5 that also you can give like a top best selling product based on the quantity of sold that is enough then next question will be average price per category definitely we need to use a like a uh, category average you can see here select category average price over partition by category so it will be the over partition will help you to category wise then what we did like we just do as a average of each category then what do you, is as an average price it will be like beauty clothing so it will be both same by electronics this will help you to doing this one and the last one the category with the highest total revenue here also definitely we need to use the windows function so the category comma sum of the price into quantity of sold as total revenue okay then the total revenue rank over order by the sum of the price of quantity as descending so it will be getting the highest to lowest as ranking from sale, group by category, order by ranking, limit equal to 1. That will return only 1 with the highest in the particular category. So these are the questions normally we, when at least we can do in a 10 days of time to practice and whatever the things 
we are getting the real life scenario then we will be become expert on this portion i will share this pynb file also don't worry okay so i think this is enough for today and we can discuss the tomorrow the remaining i'm just stop sharing okay okay team so we can um connect again rushikesh okay uh thanks shanga uh, share with me whatever the doubt or you if you are attending the question also share with me we can do it in the examination rushikesh you are mentioned if written the code with the spark sql api rather than data frame api does it create effect on execution time means can perform the same optimization technique if we written most of the code with the py spark sql api um spark sql is not doing i think currently people are uh, not doing but uh, most of the people because in the real life project also i can see like uh, spark uh, means in the py spark only let me check this question because if we get this kind of when you ask this question i have also doubt let me check what is the difference exact difference between the okay when you working with the pyspark you can interact with the data using both the data frame api and this py spark sql api okay uh, uh rushikesh if you if you work okay if you are working with the pyspark you can interact with the data using the both the data frame api and the spark sql api uh, so it will be helpful to the like an execution engine query optimization this kind of thing then re readability and clarity okay choose between the data frame api and the spark sql api often come down readability the readability uh, same to the sql syntax if you are more comfortable with sql using the spark but uh, spark and uh, api uh, pyspark almost similar but if you are more comfortable with the sql you can use the spark sql query otherwise you can use with this one then optimization and catalyst query optimization uh, it will be not um, here it is mentioned like that both have the optimization don't don't have any other thing but most of the complex queries everyone is recommending to uh, api data frame api only uh, the performance difference using the data frame api and the spark api should be minimal there is no not much thing is there and the difference likely to negligible compared to the benefit of gaining to the right api if your skill set and the task hand okay there is no nothing uh, there is no no much uh nothing nothing important uh, so that is the one update i am getting from the google itself because if you are comfortable with sql you can do that one otherwise you can do the data frame api that's it okay yeah thanks team so